the end of last week, we reported on a one-man crime spree in Shadyside. Police told us that a man committed half a dozen smash-and-grab burglaries. And now, vandals are hitting businesses in another part of Pittsburgh, Lawrenceville. And when you add it all up, both incidents in both parts of town, there have been at least 10 business break-ins or attempts in the last week. Shelly Bortz joins us live in Lawrenceville, where she's talking to business owners who were hit. Shelly. Well, guys, this is one business out of five here along Butler Street that was hit early Sunday morning. Now, the business owner here tells me she considers herself lucky because she caught the burglar on camera. It, it definitely feels like you're violated. It's, it's like a creepy feeling. Heather Johnson's business, Alchemy Dry Cut Lounge, was one of five businesses along Butler Street in Lawrenceville that got burglarized early Sunday morning. Other businesses the suspect targeted include Mosaic, Una Botanicals, Smoke, and Trim. Johnson says the burglar got away with $300 cash from her register. I do feel lucky. I mean, it's like the risk you take in owning a business. You always have that chance of of theft. I mean, that's why we have, um, you know, the camera surveillance here. In this surveillance video obtained by KDKA, you can see a brick crashing through the glass front door of the salon. The suspect, wearing a ski mask, then comes in, picks up the brick before grabbing the money out of the register and leaving. Three businesses had their front doors smashed, two had their cash drawers emptied or stolen, while another had a safe ransacked. Trim was the only business the suspect attempted to break in. We just uh, moved into this new location. Uh, everything's up to date here. We have reinforced glass, so we were lucky that you know they weren't able to get in here. And uh, it's really unfortunate that they did get into the other places. These thefts followed a rash of similar incidents last Thursday in Shadyside. An unidentified man can be seen in surveillance footage wielding a large rock to smash doors and windows to gain access into businesses there. Police aren't saying, though, whether the two crime sprees are connected. I mean, I was really surprised because it's a nice neighborhood and, you know, these are all small businesses that they hit. So it's not like things are not going great right now overall. So this really sucks that it happened right now like this.